The skeletal remains of Karabu, which were discovered in the cradle of mankind three years ago. Scientists now have discovered parts of a jaw and critical aspects of the body, including what appeared to be a complete femur, ribs, vertebra and other important limb elements that have never before been seen in such completeness in the human fossil record. What we now have, or what we know we will have in the future, is extraordinarily complete. And because we found it before we began digging in and destroying the rock around it, we can make the most incredible decisions that will not only affect the science we do now, but science we do in decades or hundreds of years from now. The remains are embedded in a rock, about a meter in diameter and are invisible to the casual observer. X-ray scans have revealed several bones. A state-of-the-art laboratory will be built at the cradle of mankind to excavate the remains of the skeleton. It will be equipped with cameras, interactive displays and audio channels that will allow anyone in the world to view the scientists at work via a live feed on the internet. Partner museums in China, the United Kingdom and the United States will also participate in allowing virtual access to the Cradle of Mankind laboratory. Also there's an exchange of, um, of technology between the Shanghai Museum as well as the, um, uh, the, the Cradle and Maruping um, uh, the, 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 the visitor center. So that's why we're here to exchange knowledge and also the technology in that aspect. It's expected that the laboratory will be completed in November. Scientists are likely to take up to three years before the encastled skeleton will be excavated from the solid rock. John Bailey, E-News, Shanghai.